Hello everyone, today we are going to discuss a very important play by William Shakespeare which is none other than Hamlet. So when we look at the full title of the play, we can say that the full title is The Tragedy of Hamlet, Prince of Denmark, which was supposedly written between 1599 and 1601. So we can see that this is one of the most lengthy plays of Shakespeare, which contains 29,551 words. And when we look upon the play, we can see that it is more like a revenge story. The Claudius, who is actually, actually the villain of the play, he actually kills Hamlet's father and marries his mother. And Hamlet come to know about this and he will seek to take revenge in the play. And throughout the play, we can see that Hamlet will procrastinate this idea. He will postpone this idea. And finally, we can see that he will achieve killing Claudius or taking revenge of his father's death. But everyone will die, including Hamlet. Everyone will die in the end of the play. So you need to note that the setting of the play takes place in Denmark. And uh, this is actually a royal kind of setup, we can say. And too much philosophical uh, sentences are there. Too much philosophical uh, kind of ideas are actually imparted by Shakespeare in the play. So regarding this, we will discuss in detail in this video lecture. So when we check the background details of the play, we need to note that this is one of the most performed play even now by the Royal Shakespeare Company. So that much famous play it is. And we need to note that uh, the play is actually too much philosophical and uh, there are not that much happenings taking place in the play. The plot have, uh, does not have much development but throughout it is more like a revenge story. But the speech or the soliloquies of Hamlet is actually world famous even nowadays. So now we will discuss regarding the summary of the play and also the we will have an analysis of the play of how it is. So during the beginning, at the beginning of the play, we can see that the ghost of King Hamlet who was actually recently deceased, he appears in the play. So the ghost was actually first seen by a pair of watchmen and after a scholar also called Horatio, he also sees him. But they cease to understand the ghost because he doesn't talk the ghost doesn't talk and the ghost also they notice that the ghost also have a resemblance of the recently killed or deceased or died we don't know at the beginning that claudius killed uh, this king hamlet but it was like the ghost had the resemblance of the uh, king hamlet that this horatio and this pair of watchmen come to understand so they thought that if prince hamlet is made to arrive and made to see the ghost the ghost might speak something that way they will think during the beginning of the play so we can see that when hamlet prince hamlet appears before the ghost the ghost starts to speak and ghost will reveal that that means the ghost of king hamlet reveals to hamlet that prince hamlet that the king was the hamlet king was actually killed by claudius so it was actually a murder that time prince hamlet will come to know about it and to usurp the kingdom, Claudius, the villain of the play, actually did this murder. So at this point of time, Prince Hamlet will decide to take revenge, to seek revenge. So that way he will uh, decide to pretend mad or in an erratic kind of way, he will start behaving in order to confuse the villain, Claudius. Claudius killed King Hamlet and also married King Hamlet's wife, Gertrude. That means the mother of Hamlet. So Claudius... So his wife is now Gertrude. So by the erratic behavior of Prince Hamlet, Claudius and Gertrude get confused. And Claudius, he had some doubt that whether Hamlet is acting or is he really mad. So to keep watch of uh, Prince Hamlet, he will appoint two people who is actually the friends of Hamlet, who are Rosencrantz and Guildenstern. So they are actually more, not that much intelligent character in the characters in the play. And Hamlet will actually make fool of them. So that way it is. And that way the situation is. And we can also see Polonius. He is also uh, closely associated with uh, Claudius. But he is not. He is also not that much intelligent character we can say. He will also watch uh, King Prince Hamlet. And uh, we can see that Polonius have a daughter called Ophelia. And Ophelia is in love with Hamlet. And Hamlet also loves her. But due to his... Uh, pretending madness Hamlet at one point of time will really become little bit mad in that case he will uh, suddenly or start 
he will start avoiding Ophelia and it is actually very much painful for Ophelia during that time. And finally we can see that this Ophelia will die in the play. And we can see that during the play Hamlet will hurt Ophelia for no reason like uh, asking her to go to nunnery and uh, don't show this much kind of emotional behavior that kind of it, the, the, all those things hurts Ophelia. And you, you know one at one point of time we can see uh, when Hamlet is actually very angry with Gertrude because she married his uncle Claudius who is actually the murderer of, murderer of King Hamlet. Because of this reason at one point of time Hamlet become very much angry with Gertrude and talks in a very arrogant manner. During that time Polonius is actually hiding in the bedroom of uh, those people. So during that time Hamlet will think that Prince Hamlet will think that it is Claudius and with that anger he will stab Polonius because uh, he can't see the face because he's actually, he was actually hiding in a curtain. So that way Polonius is killed. That means Ophelia's father, father is killed. That way it is. So Ophelia will uh, become very much upset and she will also become really mentally down and she will commit suicide. That way Ophelia dies and Hamlet is also too much touched by it and uh, Hamlet is also beca becomes half mad due to this reason. And we can see uh, Laertes is actually the brother of Ophelia. Uh, he will come to know that his father Polonius and uh, sister Ophelia is dead because of this Hamlet and that way they also seek revenge. In the climax we can see that. We will come to that. But before that we need to know that. We can see that a group of travelling actors come in Denmark. And during that time Hamlet think that to prove that Claudius have guilt because he murdered King Hamlet. Uh, Hamlet actually the Prince Hamlet tried to check his guilt. So for that he will make use of these travelling actors. He will actually Hamlet will actually arrange a play for them called the Mousetrap or the murder of Gonzago. And make Claudius watch this play. So in that play how it is is uh, they will show a person a king who is actually murdered by pouring poison into his ear and that way uh, it is actually the same manner in which Claudius kills King Hamlet. So Claudius is made to watch this and uh, his reaction proves the, that he still have guilt. So Hamlet will hence make sure that he is really the murderer. So that way he will make his point of taking revenge more stronger. So after that time we can see Claudius uh, praying in the church or in the praying room. So that time Hamlet will think of murdering him. So he got a good chance because he is alone and from backside he can stab him. But Hamlet think that he will procrastinate. He will, he will uh, postpone this because he will think that if he is killed during the praying time uh, he might directly go to the heaven. That kind of a Hamlet will think and he will uh, drop the plan for that time. So that way we can see throughout the play Hamlet, Prince Hamlet is actually postponing this killing of or taking revenge of his father's murderer. Murder. So that way we can see in the play and the procrastination plays an important theme in the play Hamlet that also you should know. And after those situations we can see the murder of Polonius and also uh, due to the murder of Polonius actually as a punishment Claudius gives Hamlet a punishment like he need to go back go to England. So actually with Rosencrantz and Guildenstern, his friend, friends, he's supposed to go. But Claudius is actually planning something greater. He gives a letter to Hamlet uh, which he should not, he's not supposed to open. But inside that Claudius wrote that the person who, who comes with this letter should be killed. But uh, Hamlet is very uh, tricky guy. So he just uh, took out the, takes out the letter and he will change it. So he will make Rosencrantz and Guildenstern die for it. So that way it is and here again Hamlet will come back. So that time we can see the brother of Ophelia. Ophelia also died that time. Polonius, Laertes' father, Laertes' and Ophelia's father, Polonius also died. So Laertes uh, come to know that Hamlet is a reason for these two people's death and uh, he will think of taking revenge of Hamlet. And we can see during the climax there is a sword fight called fencing. So during that time uh, Claudius is actually planning to kill Hamlet because Claudius will come to know that now Prince Hamlet know that uh, Claudius is his father's murderer. So uh, he is now very dangerous. So Claudius uh, before that itself try to kill uh, Prince Hamlet. That way he will uh, have a plan. How the plan is uh, during the fight between Laertes and Hamlet uh, Claudius will actually very trickily stick some poison in the sword of Laertes because uh, if Laertes happens to cut or injure Hamlet. Uh, in that case Hamlet will die of the poison. That way uh, Claudius will plan 
and as a backup plan he also arranges that if hamlet wins the first round or second round he will give some kind of uh, drink to him and pouring some, means adding some poison in it he will give that drink to hamlet that way also hamlet will be dead so that way claudius will plan but that plan also doesn't go well because first cut was actually given by hamlet and after that uh, claudius gives him the drink with poison but hamlet will not drink that instead of that he will give it to his mother as a uh, sign of victory but jetrod who is actually the mother of hamlet and also the wife of claudius now she will instantly dies so during that time we can see uh, hamlet will come to know from later that claudius actually added poison and uh, during that time uh, we can see with the latest sword that poisonous sword also cuts hamlet during the time and uh, because of the anger hamlet will make latest poisonous sword to cut himself so latest will die of poison and jetrod will die of poison but hamlet is actually cut with poison but he will not die instantly so as he come to know that claudius is actually the murderer of the jetrod also now he will suddenly go to him and he will stab claudius and kill him also after this revenge is achieved hamlet will die of poison that way we can see the all members of the royal family dies during the play and at the climax we can see fortin brass is another character who comes from outside and he will take charge of the kingdom that way the play hamlet ends so we can see it's more like a tragedy aristotelian tragedy we can say uh, finally everything will end in uh, a total mess everyone will die and the tragic flow in this play is procrastination we say okay postponing the uh, revenge that way it happens so that is the tragic flow we can say so now we have discussed the major characters in the play the summary of the play and also the major tragic flow in the play now we will discuss the major themes in the play we can see that the importance of certainty the impossibility of certainty is actually an important theme in the play it is because we can see that the appearance of ghost doesn't appear real because uh, we are not sure whether it is actually the mental state of the watchman or horatio or hamlet that makes them see the ghost that we are not sure because only that time the ghost appears in the play and after that we can see whether claudius is actually really sure about uh, the hamlet's motives of revenge is also not that much explained in the play so that kind of certainty is there in the play and also we can see uh, many other things which are not that much sure or certain in the play many things we have to guess and actually it is the brilliance of shakespeare we can say and next thing is the complexity of action we can see the a situation the story plot line is very simple a person taking revenge of his father's death but we can see that because of the scholarly nature of hamlet and also this overthinking nature and half mad kind of nature we can see the play becomes more complicated his mind process the thought process become more complicated he will think more many long soliloquies are there whether to kill him now whether to kill claudius now or after some time to be or not to be that kind of many uh, long soliloquies are there in the play so all these things make the readers also uh, understand many philosophical ideas regarding life and death all these kinds of uh, complicated kind of how the mind state of a person works all these things are actually discussed in uh, this play we can say then we should also talk about the mystery of death that also plays an important theme in the play we can see after ophelia's death we can we can see the grave digger scene so there is actually a soliloquy by hamlet seeing the uh, skull of the person who died before so during that time greater deeper kind of insights into human life regarding death how a person should live all those kind of thing actually uh, the readers will get a clearer idea and also make us think deeper regarding life circumstances and the pain hamlet undergoes after uh, ophelia's death is also very notable because other people will think that hamlet is mad and he is not at all concerned with Uh, his lover ophelia but hamlet no his inner feelings no what all sufferings he have to face now he have to seek revenge he also uh, killed uh, ophelia's father mistakenly and ophelia is also dead now because of that reason so that much suffering he have to undergo i said so that that's why hamlet is actually a tragic hero he have the qualities of a tragic hero in the play and also if we overall analyze the play we can see that it is more like a deceased body the country denmark in which the play take place is mostly Uh, considered as a rotten deceased body because uh, at the beginning itself at the death or the murder of king hamlet itself the uh, tragic flow of the nation denmark starts and with that the problems in denmark also starts because of this 
reason and finally we can see the destruction of the nation is complete by the death of all the royal family members so the theme of nation as a deceased body is also an important theme in the play hamlet next theme when we talk about we can see that the performance that means there is a play within the play in hamlet called the mouse trap called by hamlet and also uh, the real name is the murder of gonzago that also plays how a play is actually giving influence to the audience that inside the play itself shakespeare is brilliantly presenting so that way performance is actually uh, given more importance in this play and hamlet we can see the character hamlet is also a very much uh, developed character he have many kinds of insights into life he is more like a philosopher he is actually uh, more overthinking person and because of this reason he have many kinds of thought processes in his undergoing many kinds of thought processes in his mind we can say so that way performance plays a very important role in this play hamlet and uh, regarding the last theme when we talk about madness and doubt these are also very important theme because hamlet will act like mad half mad during the beginning of the play to seek revenge but later we can see he will really become mad so that situation happens so that madness theme is important whether uh, the appearance and reality these kinds of real and imagination this distinctions became blurred in the play we can say and also doubt kind of situation uh, many doubts are there uh, regarding hamlet also claudius had many doubts he will appoint spy like rosencrantz gilderns and polonius also actually go behind hamlet so that doubt kind of situation hamlet is also doubtful regarding the ghost is real or not so whether uh, claudius is really the murderer he have doubt to clear that doubt he will arrange the play the mouse trap or the murder of gonzago that way doubt also plays an important role and ophelia is also now at one point of time doubtful about hamlet's feelings or love affairs all those things are there so these themes also act as an important uh, kind of element in the play so that is about the play hamlet you should note that uh, the play hamlet is actually a very long kind of play which should be discussed in great detail but the aim of this video is to give you a brief awareness regarding the play what are the major themes what are the characters so before the examination within few minutes if you have to revise this topic this video will be very much helpful for you and also you can uh, suggest me some important topics regarding uh, english literature so that i can uh, make uh, good videos regarding that so next video lecture will be based on some important topics like that so until we meet next time goodbye and happy learning